Hey guys, it's Mark with Acres and Bacon here. It's a beautiful spring day. Uh, we are going to do a little video today on butchering some cockerels, on how we turn our excess cockerels into food for the family. So these were uh, birds that we had decided to keep for the year. Uh, we picked out about 30 birds to add to the flock, uh, raise up, and when they start laying, uh, pick and choose what color eggs we want to add into our laying flock uh, so we get a nice uh, variety of color. So these are uh, eight week old cockerels and they're just picking on everybody. They almost killed one of the other grow outs already. Uh, pecked it on the head until it was bleeding pretty bad. Um, we almost lost that one. We were able to save it. We've done this in the past. We've raised them up, um, you know, 16, 18, 20 weeks and then butchered them then and you just don't get that much meat off of them. They don't do that well. They don't gain a ton of weight. So we decided to butcher them early. We told the kids hot wings, and because they've never had uh, hot wings before. So hot wings and chicken nuggets from all these uh, eight week old cockerels. And here's a quick little video on butchering them in a fairly quick and efficient way to where we can get it done and get them processed and get them in the freezer and make a couple meals off of them. So I hope you enjoy this. Okay, so here we go here. We're heating our water up to about 150 degrees using a propane burner and a big stainless tub. We're gonna dip our birds in there for a couple seconds, give them a nice little swirl, make sure you get water where you need to. We do a little test, make sure the feathers come off easily. And we bring them up here to our plastic bag just so we can strip all the feathers into this and keep everything contained. So doing this method, you only need to pluck the legs and thighs. You just want to clean up inside and out on both of the thighs. So on the first side, you're going to pull this leg out and just cut through the skin. Once you do that, it opens right up kind of gives you a line right to go down then you just need to get down here and find the joint once you get through that joint you just want to cut as close to the body as you can get all the meat off and there's one side done so here's the second side, same thing, just slice through that skin, it opens right up. Now this is easier with two people, uh, we definitely noticed it was a little more difficult having one person recording and the other person doing this by themselves. So if you have somebody to help hold the bird for you, so you can put a little pressure on certain areas while you're cutting, definitely makes it easier. So for the breast meat here, you're just gonna slice through the skin. This is just like doing a wild duck. You're gonna grab the skin, pull it all the way up and off, exposing all the breast meat. So you're just gonna take your knife and go right down the side of the keel bone or the breast bone, all the way to how you hit the kind of rib cage area. And then you're just gonna run your knife down that as close as you can to get as much of that meat off as you can. So up here at the front, you have the wishbone, which kind of gives you a little bit of a trouble. Uh, it's usually not too bad. Once you do a couple, you kind of figure out the best way to get around that, best way to save as much meat as you can. And you just keep following that rib cage down until you get the breast meat off. Same with the other side, you're gonna follow the breastbone down. And then just slowly peel that meat off. And then what you end up with here is just a bunch of legs and thighs and chicken breasts. So here's a bunch of chicken breasts. We'll probably bread these, either fry them or bake them. And then same with these, uh, figure out some hot sauce we can put on there for the kids. So here's the finished product. 
we've got one package of wings, legs, and thighs, and one package of mini chicken breasts. And that's how we turn eight roosters into two or three meals for the family. And just remember, every time you have a problem, there's a solution for that problem. So extra roosters turns into food. Well, I hope you guys learned something. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you did. Check out our other videos. We've got lots of other stuff coming as we develop this farm out here in the Nevada desert. And hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy. Enjoy.